In the heat of the night, a gripping TV series from 1988 brings a unique blend of drama, mystery, and social commentary to your screen. Set in the fictional town of Sparta, this crime-solving powerhouse follows Chief Bill Gillespie and Detective Virgil Tibbs as they navigate the complexities of a small southern community. Ever wondered about the lesser-known facts behind the scenes or the anecdotes that make the series even more fascinating? Keep watching. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad revelations in store for you. When was the first time you tuned in to witness the unfolding drama of In the Heat of the Night? Share your initial impressions and experiences in the comments below. We're eager to hear your stories. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience related to this iconic series? Whether it's a plot twist that left you in awe or a character who became a favorite, we'd love to hear about it. Share your thoughts and memories below. There's more to discover about in the heat of the night and your insights could add a whole new dimension to the conversation. So don't hesitate, let us know your thoughts. In 1988, a riveting television series hit the screens, bringing a compelling mix of drama, mystery, and social commentary to audiences. Set in the fictional town of Sparta, the crime-solving duo of Chief Bill Gillespie and Detective Virgil Tibbs took viewers on a journey through the complexities of a small southern community. As the series unfolded, it resonated deeply with its audience, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. The show's exploration of social issues and its intricate storytelling captivated viewers, sparking conversations and reflections on the societal challenges depicted in the narrative. In the realm of impact, the reception during its time was noteworthy. Viewers were not merely spectators, but active participants in the unfolding narrative. The series' ability to tackle sensitive topics such as racial tensions and justice contributed to its resonance and relevance. The characters, notably Chief Gillespie and Detective Tibbs, became more than just fictional figures. They became symbols of justice and change. The impact of the series transcended the television screen, leading to the emergence of spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations. These extensions of the In the Heat of the Night universe allowed fans to delve deeper into the world they had come to cherish. Spin-offs continued the legacy, exploring new facets of the characters' lives and the challenges faced by the community. Merchandise associated with the series became a tangible way for fans to express their connection to the show. From clothing to memorabilia, the market was adorned with items that allow wood enthusiasts to carry a piece of in the heat of the night into their daily lives. Furthermore, adaptations in various forms paid homage to the series, ensuring its enduring presence in the cultural landscape. Whether it was books, radio dramas, or stage productions, the narrative continued to captivate audiences in diverse ways, showcasing the versatility of its storytelling. In conclusion, in the heat of the night, with its impactful storytelling and exploration of societal issues, left an enduring legacy. The show's influence went beyond the confines of television, giving rise to spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations that kept the flame of its narrative burning bright in the hearts of its dedicated audience. Filming locations played a crucial role in shaping the visual narrative of the series. The inaugural season unfolded against the backdrop of Hammond, Louisiana, before transitioning to Kinnears and Covington, Georgia, marking a noticeable transformation in Sparta's appearance from season one onwards. A unique scheduling decision in 1989 stirred things up. The season kicked off with an impactful episode addressing a sensitive issue, deviating from the conventional chronological order. Carol O'Connor, the executive producer, made a deliberate choice to prioritize a narrative with a powerful message, disrupting the anticipated resolution of the previous season's cliffhanger. The subsequent episodes circled back to the unresolved storyline, with Gillespie recounting the events stemming from his kidnapping. The Sparta Police Department's exterior shots were not what they seemed. The Newton County Library in Covington, Georgia, not only housed the show's visual representation of the police department, but has since transformed into a space for medical equipment supply companies. Meanwhile, the interior shots were crafted on a soundstage within an industrial building a couple of blocks away. These behind-the-scenes elements add layers to the narrative, showcasing the meticulous decisions made by the creators to enhance the overall viewer experience. The deliberate choice of filming locations and the unique sequencing of episodes highlight the thoughtful approach taken in presenting the series to its audience. Following the series' conclusion, Virgil Tibbs' residence, a prominent location in the narrative, remained vacant for several years. 
Eventually, it underwent transformation into office spaces after being divided. Gillespie's loyal companion in the series, portrayed by a black lab named Hunter, added a canine touch to the crime-solving duo. The use of a real dog brought authenticity to the character, enhancing the overall viewing experience. Carol O'Connor, assuming the alias Matt Harris, covertly contributed to the series as a scriptwriter for both the show and two subsequent movies. The use of a pseudonym reflected O'Connor's concern about potential unfavorable critiques from television reviewers. These behind-the-scenes glimpses offer a nuanced understanding of the series' evolution and the collaborative efforts behind its success. From the real-life transformation of Tibbs home to the subtle use of an actual dog, the series' authenticity extended beyond the fictional narratives it presented. Bubba Skinner, a key character in the series, kept his first name a mystery. Despite occasional references to him as L.V. Bubba Skinner, his response in the episode A Small War affirmed that Bubba sufficed as his name. This added an element of intrigue to his character, leaving fans curious about the untold parts of his identity. In a notable turn of events, the seventh season featured the episode Every Man's Family, intended as a pilot for a spin-off centered around Bubba Skinner. However, due to scheduling constraints and the series concluding shortly after, the spin-off set in Atlanta never materialized. It remains an interesting what could have been moment in the show's history. During filming, the McGuffey House, portrayed by Michelangelo Italian Restaurant and Bar in Caneers, Georgia, served as a pivotal location. Interestingly, this spot was the favorite dining place of Dan Biggers, who portrayed Dr. Frank Robb in the series. The real-world connection between the filming location and the actor added a personal touch to the show's production. During Howard E. Rollins Jr.'s time in rehab, Virgil was in Jackson, Mississippi, studying law. Carol O'Connor couldn't be on the show due to heart surgery, so they had his character attend a police convention. Joe Don Baker filled in as acting chief Tom Dugan during O'Connor's recovery, as NBC didn't want to include O'Connor's surgery in the story. Chief Gillespie always answered the phone with, yeah, what? Which became his thing. This catchphrase show with his no-nonsense attitude every time the phone rang. These behind-the-scenes details made the show feel real. When O'Connor wanted to include his real surgery in the story, NBC said no, so Baker stepped in. This situation shows how industry decisions affect the story and casting. Filming started in Hammond, Louisiana, and moved to Kinnears and Covington, Georgia. In 1989, episodes were rearranged to focus on powerful storytelling instead of resolving a cliffhanger. Virgil Tibbs' residence became offices after the show ended. Using a real dog hunter as Gillespie's companion made the crime-solving duo more authentic. Bubba Skinner's first name being a mystery added an interesting touch to his character. The unfulfilled spin-off about him is a missed opportunity for the show. The McGuffey House, a favorite dining place of actor Dan Biggers, connected real life with the show's production. These behind-the-scenes choices, from phone greetings to real-life changes, show the careful decisions that made in the heat of the night more than just a crime drama. It's a show crafted with practicality and creativity.